stand there in the middle of nowhere, and I've got my hands up and everything, but I said, Officer, I appreciate that you're just doing your job, but I didn't break out of prison for no reason. <laughs> you know? Not. Yeah. Hi, folks. Welcome back to Pop-Up Fizzle. I'm Jeff. I'm Heidi. And we are here to watch uh, the second trailer that's been released uh, by Universal for Welcome to Marwin. Now, we really liked the first trailer. For yeah. Uh, I mentioned that I had seen the documentary uh, about the person on which this film is based. Um, this film, I think, is a very loose adaptation. Probably. Um, and that's fine. That, that happens in Hollywood all the time. I don't think The Disaster Artist was a, a <laughs> very real look at Tommy Wiseau. Oh, um, can you really get a real look at Tommy Wiseau? Probably not. Never. And, and so these things happen. So we're not necessarily looking at this for... Uh, it's reflection of reality per se, but Historic, we are looking at historical that, accuracy, right? But we are looking to see that uh, it tells a unique story in a unique fashion. We I feel like we got that in the first trailer. Yeah. Um, so we're curious to see the second trailer. We're going to let you know what we think, and then you can jump into the comments and let us know what you think, and then we'll have some dialogue down there, right? Yes. Okay. So Steve Carell. Yes. Lots of other people. Lots uh, of in other this. Uh, so in in small roles, you could say. Ha <laughs> ha! We're gonna check this out and uh, and react to that right now. I was a hell of a good artist, a World War II illustrator, and now I can barely write my name. I heard what happened to you. Five of them jumped him. <laughs> to miracle, he survived. <laughs> you taking your meds? I got beaten within an inch of my life for no reason. One foot in front of the other. You got it, Mark. That guy embraced the pain. But I've created a world where I can heal. What is all of this? Welcome to Marwin. It's my art installation. You're an artist? That's a complicated story. Well, tell me. You really want to know? Yes. They kicked every memory I ever had out of my head. Everything from before the attack's gone. So my dolls have to tell a story. These are the women of Marwin. And they protect Mark. We're one and the same, pal. From the bad guys. Let's go. I've got some gumbo. People you know? Yeah, there's Anna. The, the Julie. Pam. Yeah. Carlala. You can't keep on running away from your problems. Roberta. Were you going to go to the sentencing? You need to face those jerks who beat you up. I'm not really sure how to do this. Her pain is a racket feeling. The life I once had was taken away from me. But I'm still here. I have hope. And I have my town. And I have my friends. I got your back. I'll be okay. Anything is possible in Marlin. Bottoms up, girls. People need to see how special Marlin really is. To life, to love, to the women of Marlin. That just looks like it's going to be so much fun. Uh, I mean, heartbreaking and heart wrenching, but also yeah. just really well done. A good, a good. It's going to be a good movie. You can just tell. So. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. That I, I feel like this combination of uh, director and uh, you know star and cast and you know just the the type of story that it is. Mm -hmm. You know, they make a point of saying from the director of Forrest Gump. And I feel like it, it gives me that vibe that I, I think you'll see this movie and that you'll, uh, that it'll be a good hearted, good feeling movie a lot of the time, that there'll be moments where you laugh, that there'll be moments where you cry, that, um, that it'll be a really moving mm -hmm. movie in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. And I think that, um, Steve Carell is one of those guys that he can play the comedy. We've seen him do that a million times and we've seen him do you know, a few dramatic, a few more dramatic turns. But I think that this kind of role requires somebody who really can turn on a dime mm -hmm. on those different things. Yeah. And that can, and they can play this character with a kind of um, subtlety 
without overplaying it, without without pushing too hard for the emotions, without trying to wring out the tears, but yeah, just, just play it in a just, way that just that be just becoming that person, right? And and play it in a way that really delivers the story and the heart of the character without overplaying it or trying to win a uh, an award. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I really feel like I get that vibe from this. Now you may disagree, and if so, let us know in the comments below what you think, because you know we've all we all have different perspectives on this kind of thing. This could be. A movie that uh, is critically panned when it comes out. You just can't predict those things, but it really leaves me feeling like, I want to see this. I and, definitely want to see this. And even more so than the first trailer, it makes me feel like I want to see it right away. Like, I want to see it when it comes out. I want to see it on the big screen. I want to experience this. I was going to say, right away. With an audience. Yeah, we have to wait to Christmas. Yeah. Sorry. But, um, but it feels like it's going to be that kind of movie, like a Forrest Gump, where you just sit there and really go for a ride with this character and really come to love him and care about him over the just, course of the And just kind of let the, all the scenery and the realism kind of just kind of soak in. You just kind of sit there and be a part of the movie. So that yeah. I'm kind of feeling that, that in there, too. But in the same way, when you watch Forrest Gump... You know, there's a lot of, you suspend your, your disbelief yeah. in a lot of that stuff. And that's fine because it serves the, the fantastical elements of mm -hmm. Forrest Gump, serve the overall story, and it serves the narrative of this character from being a boy to being a man and, and who he learns to be and how his innocence and his devotion to the people in his life changes their lives. And I feel like we get a similar vibe off of Steve Carell in this, yeah. that that he's a broken man who has people that love him, care for him, and their love and care for him changes his his course. It, it, it takes him from a place of brokenness and despair into feeling like he, he ha still has a life. He still has a story to tell. Yeah. And, uh, and that, to me, is inspiring. So I, I really hope this is as good as it looks. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm excited to see it. Same. Yeah. So the question is, what do you think? Jump into those comments and let us know so we can dialogue down there. And if you like this video... Hit that thumbs up. And consider subscribing to the channel. We love having you guys on board. If you're already subscribed, hit that bell icon so you don't miss anything. And uh, consider joining our Patreon community. We're going to have some uh, blooper reels and some fun stuff coming up on that. Yeah. Very shortly, um, and nobody messes up like I do, so you'll enjoy seeing that. Heidi messes up every now and then. We have a lot of bloopers. <clears throat> yeah, but uh, it's mostly me because I don't know what I'm doing half the time. That's just straight up honesty. Um, so you'll have some of those things, and we're going to do some things that are specifically for our Patreon community. Yes. Uh, we may do some Q&A type stuff. We may do some polls and some other things like that. So if you want to join us on there, it's only a dollar a month to do that. Uh, we only have the one tier, and that's just uh, to build the community. That's it. Yeah. So until next time, folks. Bye. Bye.